Find the domain and the range of the function y equals square root of 1 minus x square. Pause this video and give this problem a try. Let's discuss the solution. The domain of this function includes all the real numbers greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to 1. The range of this function includes all the real numbers greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1. For real values of y, the quantity 1 minus x square cannot be negative, that is, 1 minus x square should be greater than or equal to 0. Subtracting 1 from both the sides of this inequality we get, negative x square is greater than or equal to negative 1. Multiplying this inequality by negative 1, we get, x square is less than or equal to 1. Note that, multiplying by a negative number reverses the inequality. Since all the values in this inequality are non-negative, we can take the principal square root. Doing so we get, principal square root of x square is less than or equal to 1. We know that principal square root of x square is another definition of modulus of x. So we can write this inequality as modulus of x is less than or equal to 1. This implies that x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to 1. Therefore, the domain of this function is the closed interval from negative 1 to 1. Now let's find the range of this function. As x varies from negative 1 to 1, x square varies from 0 to 1. Multiplying this inequality by negative 1, we get negative x square is less than or equal to 0 and greater than or equal to negative 1. Now add 1 to this inequality. 1 minus x square is non negative on the domain of this function. So taking the principal square root, we get square root of 1 minus x square is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1. Therefore, the range of this function is the closed interval from 0 to 1.